Now, let's talk about the representation of a vector. Ve generally, when we talk about mass, we say mass m is equal to 5 kg. Now, you must be having, you must have solved numericals lot many times in which you would have written like this, m is equal to 5 kg or volume is equal to 5 meter cube. Now, these are scalar quantities. When we talk about force, now the general acceptable representation of force we, when we talk about vector quantity or any vector quantity for that matter, not only force, we use a bold letter. So when we are when you are when you are typing in a, in MS Office, then you can just choose the font as bold. So F becomes bold like this, and then you write F is equal to five newton. This is not just enough. You have to say direction as well. Let's see northward. So this is how you write a vector quantity. You use the letter, you use the bold form of the letter, force. You will not yet write it like this. But as you would realize that this is quite difficult when we write on a paper using pen or when we use marker, to write F normal and then write F in a bold form. It will become difficult for us. For typing, it's easy. So to come out of the misery of this, what we have accepted is we will represent a vector quantity by adding a mark like this, by putting up an arrow at the top of the letter we are using to represent a vector quantity. So vector quantity, like force, if we are using F letter for force, then we have to write, we have to put an arrow at the head of the letter that we are using to represent the vector. So now we can write F, now this F is a symbol for a physical quantity and this arrow shows that physical quantity is a vector quantity so f is 5 newton towards north right similarly any vector a there's a vector if if that a if, if we are using the symbol a for a scalar quantity then we just use Five and with the unit, whatever the unit of that mass is, if it is mass, it would be kg. For current, it would be ampere, whatever it is. Now, if we are using the same letter A for a vector quantity, then we just have to add an arrow at the top, at the head of that letter. Now, this means that whatever physical quantity this letter is representing, that physical quantity is a vector quantity. So, we write it as A and we put an arrow at the top of the head of that letter and we read it as a vector. So suppose this a vector is representing velocity, then this we will read it as a vector is equal to 5 meter per second towards east, if that is the direction in which the body is moving. So this is how we do. We write it as a, put an arrow, we read it as a vector. So we read it as f vector is equal to 5 newton towards north, a vector is equal to 5 meter per second towards east, whatever the direction is. The point here is, if you are using a scalar quantity, we just use the letter for representation. If you use it, if, if it's a vector quantity, we do the same use letter for the representing it, but use an arrow, uh, arrow at the top of the head of the letter. And we read it as a vector or b vector or f vector, whatever. Okay. okay, so now if we have to represent vectors graphically, for example, suppose there's a block kept on a smooth flow and you're applying force. I mean, two people are pulling this block. Suppose uh, there's a thread attached to the block and people, two people are pulling this block towards themselves. Okay, now. <coughs> Suppose this person is applying 10 newton of force and this person is applying 8 newton of force, then the block is likely to move to its right, towards a person who is applying thread of force. Now, force is a vector quantity. Now, they are applying force. Now, let's learn how to use the vector quantity graphically because every time we will not be drawing these people and these thread to represent the physical situation. What we would do is we will just draw the body which is in question and we'll just instead of thread and people we are more interested in just the force 
so the force applied by this person is to its east which is 10 newton so what we do is we draw a line of any arbitrary length like this and an arrow the same kind of arrow that we use at the top of the letter representing a vector quantity like this now this we will write it as 10 newton now for the other fellow which is applying 8 newton in the opposite direction we will again use just an arrow in the opposite direction but the point is if you have used this much of length for 10 newton then proportionally you have to use the length for 8 newton so 8 newton the length of the vector that we draw should be lesser than this something like this 8 newton with a proper direction so now we know the force the net and we'll talk about where it will move in a while but for now this is how we represent vector quantity graphically the length of the vector is proportional to its magnitude if you have chosen this length to be representing 10 newton of force then 8 newton of force should have a proportional length sh shorter than this proportionally some suppose this is representing 10 newton of force which is eastward now i'll not write eastward now because i have already drawn the vector eastward so this means this length this length means it's a 10 newton of force and the arrow is pointing towards east so it's understood that the force is towards east now if i have to draw 5 newton of force towards east now what i have to do is if i have chosen this length to be of 10 newton then proportionally the half of it should be the length of 5 newton so if i draw a vector like this then this means it's a vector of 5 newton and again it's pointing towards east so it is east okay now if of the same length of the same length if i draw a vector like this then if the length of these two are same then the magnitude will also be the same so if this is 5 newton then this will also be 5 newton if both are representing force okay so this is 5 newton and the force is 5 newton towards north because the arrow is pointing towards north so that's how graphically we represent force suppose this is x axis y axis i've taken a graph now i have asked you to plot a force of uh, 10 newton towards north of east see north of east when you get a language like this you have to start from east and go towards north north of east is this this is east and the north of east would be this north of east uh, suppose I ask you to plot uh, a force of 10 newton 30 degree north of east then you start from east and you go 30 degree towards north so this is 30 degree north of east and you give any arbitrary length to this vector and you see that this is 5 did I ask you 10 newton 10 newton okay then 10 newton force 30 degree north of east okay because we are following this direction uh, convention of this direction north south west and east so this is east and that is north so this is 30 degree north of east now on the same plot if I ask you to draw a force of 5 newton west of south now west of south suppose 60 degree if I ask you to draw a force of 5 newton 60 degree west of south so 60 degree west of south you used to start from south and then you have to go towards west so this is south and this is you're moving towards west so this is 60 degree suppose this is 60 degree which you will actually I'm, I'm drawing it arbitrarily but if you have a graph paper you have to use the proper uh, drawing method to get to this angle of 60 degree so this is 60 degree nevertheless if this is 60 degree then this is 60 degree west of south and if you have chosen this arbitrary length to be 10 newton and if the force you have been asked to draw is of 5 newton then this should be actually half of this length this is half of this length now generally we are never very stringent about this while drawing or while uh, representing a force for a body we are never very stringent that we have to use exactly the half of this as for 5 newton 
it is more uh, more based on your judgment and it is uh, accurate it doesn't have to be exact it is uh, accurate drawing and it should look more or less half that's it nobody is very stringent about this and nobody is going to draw ask you to draw a force like this which is exact goddamn half of this length nobody is going to ask you that